All right, so today I'm going to use Photoshop Elements to walk you through how to quickly and easily make your own photo collage. It's a super fun way to have a vacation memento to be able to display several pictures all at once. Okay, so to start off, you're going to go ahead and open the pictures that you would like to use in your collage. I just have some snapshots that I took on my phone on our last vacation. So those are the ones that I'm going to use. I'm going to open them up and they're going to open down here in your photo bin. You're going to need to open at least eight photos. The collage is going to hold eight photos. I want to have more than eight open just um, so that I have some options for changing out. So I've got all my photos selected. Down here, you can see that they're selected. After that, you're going to come up to the upper right hand corner, click create, and from the drop down, you're going to pick photo collage. At this point, you get to pick what size you would like your collage to be when it's completed. I'm going to pick 12 by 12 because I have a square frame that I'm going to put my collage in. You can just pick whichever option works best for your project. Go ahead and click OK. Now you can see here it's starting to just generate the collage for us. It is that easy. It's tilting some of the pictures and mixing and matching. It's working um, as you can see it's doing. And there you go. That is how it populated in. And it just took the first eight photos from my photo bin. Now, um, say this one where the second face is hidden, I might want to switch out. And so I can just take a photo from down below and drag it into its spot. And then you can see that it was replaced right there. And so you can tweak how it auto populated the pictures in. So if we want this picture instead of the car picture, I can go ahead and put it over on top and it's going to populate it. Now after you put a picture in, it has a slider bar when it's selected and you can zoom in or out and really personalize the image. And you're just going to say OK. Also, another way that you can personalize things is you can move these and layer them differently so you can have a hand in really tweaking your photo collage and getting it to be custom and just the way you want it. Um, you can go ahead and open your photo bin and see which other pictures you might want to substitute in. For example sake, I'm just going to leave it as we have right now and then I'm just going to go ahead and save my image. So I'll click save down here. You can um, Call it whatever you would like. Oops, collage ex example. And then you can put it where you'd like to put it. Um, you can save it as a project or you can save it as a PDF. I'm going to choose PDF and I will hit save. From that point, you can go ahead and print your photo yourself or um, take the PDF into a print shop and print it. Once it's printed, you can just Find your frame and um, fit your photo inside of your frame. I think it would be super fun to have a whole photo um, gallery wall filled with collages from vacations through the years. So it'll be fun to hear what you guys do with your photo collages from your vacations and how you use that memento and how um, you enjoy putting one together for yourself. Thanks for letting me show you how to do it.